Okay, some economical stuff involving with the Vikis and Votan gold nerf in Korea. I know that this happened like two months ago, which is pretty long time ago, right? Uh, I've I've been seeing like like few people, actually few people who are raging on KR having a nerf on the Votan and Vikis gold because they're afraid that the same shit might happen on the global server, right? Um, so I'm trying to talk about that, yeah, mainly. So first of all, I have to show you how much the gold got nerfed on the Vulcan and Vikis, right? KR got nerfed up to Vikis Hard, which is 1460. Vikis Hard usual, normally gives 4500 gold, right? But in Korea, uh, it only gives 2400. 2400 gold. If you clear from gate 1 to gate 3, it's 2400. And the Vulcan Hard gives 1800 yeah so from 4500 it became 1800 and uh, i don't remember well about the normal modes of the vikings and the Vulcan and also argos and Oria as well but they all got nerfed as well so they are giving uh less gold than Vulcan and vikings hard the impact of this gold nerf uh, depending on your perspective it might be like positive or negative but Mostly in Korea, it is very, very positive, and here's why. Because not only the gold nerf happened, they also nerfed the required resource needed to hone up to 1460. So on hone, when, when you hone from 1302 to up to 1460, which is plus 18, right? This part right here, the gold per tap, does not exist. The gold part per tap does not exist up to 1460. And not only that, for the rest of the five resources right here, they all got nerfed as well. Only up to 1460, guys, by the way. Only up to 1460. They got nerfed by like, like um 30%-ish. Another thing is that, well, normally uh up here, there is a global honing buff. Right now, you cannot see it because uh, my character Glavier is 1623, it's not applied for that. From 1460 to 1580, the amount of the shards that's needed to increase the EXP here, right here, got reduced by 40%. 40%, guys, 40. West does not have that right now. So you guys are like, you know, paying 40% more shards uh, when it comes to increasing the EXP. I'm not talking about the, the shard that's needed per tap, only this part, the EXP. So because of that, before this buff came out with the Vikis and Vulcan gold, gold nerf, the, the price of the shards were like 700 gold for the tier 3 big pouch. It was. It, it's kind of similar to the West right now, right? Especially the NA East. But right after this patch, it steadily went down. And look how much it is right now. Um, If I type shard the tier 3 big pouch is 240 gold steadily or drastically uh after this patch happened it, it went all the way down and with all these being happening the point what i'm trying to say is that the blue crystal price guys yeah thanks to the Vulcan and vikis nerf and all those honing buffs uh this used to be 4200 guys this used to be a 4200 so 4200 gold for 95 blue crystal, which is so bad, right? But then like it drastically like uh you know decreased and it decreased all the way to like 2500 guys from 4200 and from 2500 it reduced to like under 2k. Right now it's over 2k, but in most of the time this is under 2k guys. And the reason why it re it got reduced to under 2k is because number 1 the FOMO, the FOMO happening because of the new continent, Voldice. Voldice has a new uh, abyss dungeon called um, Tower. Let's say a tower, like chaotic tower, something like that. And that tower is an abyss dungeon. And if you see here, it requires 1620 level. Normal mode requires 1600. People who try to reach this level, by the time the content uh, comes out, they had to FOMO, right? They had to hone, like paying gold by a lot. That contributed on sinking the guild by a lot and there's another thing 
the new min max you know feature called alchemy so this is called alchemy not gonna explain about uh deeply about alchemy i'm gonna make another video for that one exclusive for alchemy so alchemy is another min max stuff and you just have to know this per one you know elixir yeah there's something that's called elixir that you need uh, to uh you know complete it so per one elixir it requires almost 7k gold which acts as a huge gold sink so what's the point of like saying all this stuff um if you guys liked watching the video then click the sub and also uh come join twitch guys um i i have an exclusive you know uh some family friendly activities that i do on twitch that i do not do on youtube so some youtube enjoyers will like me please do not unsub me and twitch prime give me some like five dollar money and that will help me a lot until tomorrow boys or for the next video stay geek shed and spam noted